Hello everyone, welcome back to our third quick draft of Dominaria United here in Magic the Gathering Arena. <clears throat> Haven't had a chance to look at these cards yet. What are they? Temporary Lockdown. Three mana. When it enters the battlefield, exile each non-land permanent with mana value two or less? What? Okay. Um, I mean, it could work if you knew you were going to be playing against Boros Moron every game. Uh, wait. Yeah, this, this is my, is this my fourth or my third Dominaria United draft? Hang on. I had the red-white, I had the Mardu, and didn't I have something with green-white in it? Or maybe it was a red-white that ran a little bit of green? Let, let me just look this up. Yeah, I've only had two. Okay. It was red-white, splash, and green. All right. Uh, so, I don't know. This does not seem very good. And the draft companion agrees. Uh, Phyrexian Missionary. Two mana, two, three with a lifelink. Great already. Kicker for two mana, black. Return from the graveyard to your hand? That's amazing. Okay. Wow. There's the Cyclops. Five mana, five, four... You can sack a creature to do damage to something. So this fits in like the red-black kind of sacrifice deck. Um. Oh, speaking of the red-black sacrifice deck, here's this. I would If I could take both of these together, I would take them over the Phyrexian Missionary and just skip my pack two. Because they, they love each other very much. Um, but I think I'm supposed to take the missionary if I only get one of them. Yeah, these are... Passing both of these left is a little bit sad, but the good news is I'm not passing any good white cards left, except, like, this, which is okay. Okay. Runic Shot, pretty solid. Coral Colony, meh. What the hell are you? A red-white thing. Four mana, three, three, Vigilance Trample. All other attacking creatures get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Red ones get Trample. Oh, I thought it was going to say white ones get something else, like Vigilance, right? But no. Just red ones get Trample. Oh, I see. Untap other white attacking creatures. So they can't have Vigilance because they've already attacked. I mean, they could, but it wouldn't do anything. But after they attack, they untap. Cute. So that seems pretty strong. So is Runic Shot, of course. Runic Shot, I guess, would be the more normal way to pronounce it. Lightning Strike is good. So there's three great choices here. I could just keep playing red-white. I think, well, we did just pass two pretty strong red cards left. Lefty probably took one of them. And the guy after that probably took another. So there, or will take another. So there are some people near me who are going to be taking good red cards if I try to play something like this. So I think, like, I'll just continue passing more good red and, like, take a runic shot. And keep an eye out to what's open on my right. Necromass also, I guess, pretty good. That's true. Um, right, we kind of want to be black. But Runic Shot, just great. It doesn't commit me as much as other things might. The Skyrider, we've taken, I think, in like every... <laughs> in both of our decks so far, and it's fine. It's worked out pretty well. This, like, still seems very bad. Artillery, artillery Blast could be good. Probably, maybe it's supposed to be Lightning Strike, actually. But I passed so many good red cards, right? And this is a totally fine white card. It wants you to splash red, but even if you don't, it's not that big a deal. Blight Pile's exciting. I mean, it's more of like it wants the Defender deck, which we don't have yet, but we might. 
Or we could take the Necromask. We've just seen a second one of these now. And it requires less kind of commitment to the defender idea, which I don't yet have. Yeah, I'll take this and it, like hope it kind of plays uh, together with like this thing. Okay, in some sense, this is anti-synergistic because this takes cards out of the graveyard and this likes cards in the graveyard, but they both like you to put cards in your graveyard for various reasons. Yeah. The, the Connoisseur is, I think, a pretty solid card, right? Boy, another cool red card. Red, black, even. Someone left is getting absolutely hooked up, and I it, it could have been me. I could have been taking all these. Um, I just thought, like, it was better to pass two of the same color card. Like, there were, like, three totally reasonable first picks. And I decided let's let's pass two that work together rather than like picking one that's gonna leave lefty fighting with you. So hopefully we get rewarded for that in pack two. The fact that someone over there is getting insane red cards. And it's not like I've been dying over here. I'm perfectly happy to take a connoisseur, I think. I could take another necromass. But I think Black White kind of likes its creatures to die fairly often. Yeah, let's take a flyer. Okay, I think we take the land, right? Like, there's some okay cards. But a land is just great. Love Song of Night and Day is pretty solid. Stall for Time, also pretty good, although better if you can run blue. Vivisector likes creatures to die. I mean, we, we could go for that. Yeah. I don't think I care that much about Love Song of Night and Day. I'm gonna take the Vivisector. It it's it, it plays more into the kind of deck I'm trying to build. Or that we so far have built. Two mana one one with flash that makes another one one. Cute. Battlefly Swarm and Necromass also perfectly reasonable. I'll take another Necromass, I guess. Um, I mean, Repossession, kind of cool. But I think we just take a decent creature. All right, nobody took the Cyclops this whole way around, huh? Pretty decent creature, I would have thought. Interesting. Um, another Cavalier or another Necromass. Well, I mean, these are supposedly pretty good. Artillery Blast, I mean, it's, it's okay. I'm a little bit like, what, what if I just wanted to be able to splash blue? I think this is probably better. These are these are both pretty meh, I think. And this, you know, this increases my options. Oh, the white pile came back. Interesting. Um, there's also this, which if I could splash blue... Kind of cool. I think it's better than the Faith Bonder, which is okay. But, 
yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stay open to this possibility. Maybe we don't end up running it, but maybe we get a chance to. I don't think I'm going to run this librarian in, like, any universe. Although it's not bad. The Academy Wall, if I end up in a little bit more blue than I'm expecting, could be kind of nice. But I'm not real. I mean, like, I don't know. It's not going to be that amazing. Just take the Librarian, I guess. Meteorite. That would help a little with mana, but I don't know that I want to spend five for this. It's more reasonable than it was in the last deck, for sure. Hmm. Probably no good, though. Lanowar Green Widow. Three mana, four, three with Reach and Trample. And it has a Domain eight mana effect to take it from the battlefield to from the graveyard to the battlefield but each time it but but then if it dies again it's gone forever and this is cheaper the more domain you have okay interesting who the heck is this five mana four four domain wow that's a powerful effect Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control with toughness less than the number of bit, like your domain, basically. I mean, I'm not missing much in this draft, in this pack. Um, Shadow Prophecy, Citizen's Arrest is probably what I should take. But I'm a little bit like, what if I took this thing? Um, right? I could maybe splash in some green and whenever it becomes tapped, you buff up all your creatures. I don't know, it's probably just supposed to be Citizen's Arrest. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Come on, where are the cards I do want? These all kind of suck. Hmm. Faith Bonder, I guess. It's like two mana filler. That would try to benefit from, you know, some of these larger creatures. And get in some big vigilant attacks, I guess. You need some two mana cards at some point. Queen all in all, so equal the number of creatures you control. When you would make tokens, make another token. I don't think that's gonna do well in this deck. What's with Terra Sunder? Two mana to exile something, or four mana including black to exile like anything. Right, artifacts or enchantments doesn't hit that much, but for four mana it can hit creatures as well. So kind of cool. I think it's the Phyrexian Rager, though, right? Yeah. Cut down should be great. Anything else I want? Bone Splinters is okay. What is this Soul Tender? We've seen it before. 3 mana, 3 1. Bring something back from the graveyard. Yeah, no, just give me Cut Down. Very solid removal. Artillery Blast? Nothing appeals, really. Shadow Prophecy could do something. Should I take Nihel or something? No, right? That's just, like, impossible. I, I don't have that much domain. But, like, someday I might. Maybe I should take Nihel now to leave myself open to the possibility. I don't know. Probably not. Another one of these things, huh? Hmm. I'm starting to think I'm in the wrong colors. It's a little bit late to fix that now, isn't it? 
I mean, I guess this is okay. I might control a lot of creatures sometimes. I haven't really taken anything that lets me make more than one at a time, though. Um, so probably just take up the shield is better. I think we want the captain's call here. Crystal Grotto wouldn't be too bad. In fact, let's take the Crystal Grotto. With just two colors, I should be okay on color most of the time. And this is a land that scries and potentially lets me run Rona, maybe? Vohar, Vidalian Desecrator. Two mana, one, two. Draw, then discard. If you discard instant or sorcery, you drain them. Pay two and sack it to cast an instant or sorcery from your graveyard. Hmm, interesting. I think I should just take the one mana creature, though. Rather than have to splash more blue. I don't know. I don't think I want this, do I? I don't have any, like, really amazing creatures to bring back. But, I mean, you know, for if you ever get seven mana, and I, I'm, in, I'm in the right colors for it, it's really strong to, like, gain six, seven life and put a 5-5 five, five on the board. So, that, I mean, that could be worth something. You know what? Let's even put it in for now. Sabotage. Barricade's all right. Did I end up taking the captain's call? Of course not. Still, if I end up getting something like that, it would be nice. I have two meteorites to help with splashing as well. I don't think I want this apparition. I should just sideboard it. Oh, what a good card. It's insane. This is also very good. This is a black-white card. What the hell? His name's Happy in Italics. So he's a 2-mana two 2-2 two two death touch. When a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life. When one of them dies, your opponent loses life. Okay, so that's, like, pretty exciting, right? We need a little bit more go-wide support for this, but it clearly belongs in the deck. Knight of Dusk's Shadow. Very good. Yep, no... Oh, wait, Miasma? Mm, I don't think so. I have, like... Well... Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this is a slow deck. Yeah, I'll just take a, a, a solid creature that everybody likes. Not going to run Tatiova. Banalis Sleeper's okay. Another Barricade's okay. Splatter Goblin's probably best. Another Knight of Dusk's Shadow? Anything else worth picking? Could take another Necromass. I think three's probably enough. Don't really need the Haunted Mire. I mean, I think I've taken a lot of cheap stuff. I can afford to put in some Necromasses. We're going to have a lot of creatures in the graveyard pretty often. If I can just keep slamming 5-5 five, five Death Touches, nobody can touch me. Uh, What's this axe? One mana, equip two. Kind of sucks. I already have one Restoration in the sideboard, right? Or is it in... No, it's in my deck. I mean, it's probably better than Destroy Evil, right? But I don't think I want two of them. Let's just take a Destroy Evil. Ratadrabic of Urborg. Four mana, three, three, Vigilance, Ward, two. Your zombies have Vigilance. 
when your legendaries die, make a token that's a copy, except it's a 2 2 zombie. I mean, that's horrible, right? I have four zombies and no legendaries? I do have Rona, I guess. That would be kind of funny. I mean, there's nothing else here worth taking. So I could just take a 4-mana 3-3 three, three Vigilance Ward 2. That on rare occasions will do... Oh, no, there's, there's this as well. And what are my zombies? I think this might actually be good. Oh, it's all these, the Necromasses. 5-5 five, five Vigilance Death Touches. You know what? Nothing else here is that amazing. I'm going to take... Radadrabic. What does the uh, review of these say? Doesn't have the best stats and the ability is too narrow. If you happen to have a bunch of legendaries, go ahead and play it. Um, I have one, maybe two. But I also have some zombies and like the stats are okay. Warhorse to... Yeah, I guess it's all right. Five mana for a 3-3 three, three and a 1-1, one, one, and it can, like, combat trick itself pretty well. Phalanx, I guess. Give me another big creature that I can potentially do something with. Faith Bonder's all right. Oh, number five, huh? I don't know about that one. But clearly it's the only thing I'm taking here. I'll just figure out how many of them to cut. Yeah, I feel like I should have had more blue. There was a lot of blue going by, and I was kind of committed too early to this white-black thing, I think. Um... I don't think it's too hard to run Rona. Do I want to run Rona? I have very few non-creature spells. I don't think Rona is really worth that much. Right? Like, three instants and two sorceries? It's just a really hard to cast four mana, three, four. Like, get out of here. And that makes Radadrabic quite a bit worse, right? <clears throat> It gives the Death Touch Zombies Vigilance, which is kind of fun, but I don't think it's worth it. This guy, very much worth it. Is it worth running Radadrabic just for this? To give me zombie a zombie copy of this after it dies? It would be kind of annoying for the opponent, maybe. And to give these guys vigilance? I don't know. Let's let's keep them in for now. I don't think the Faith Bonders are that great. Yeah, let's just get rid of them. Like, they would mostly be working on the Writhing Necromasses, but... If I'm going to tap the Writhing Necromass, I, I might as well just attack with it, I feel like. Enlisting it is not that great. I'm like, yes, I get to attack with a 6-3 Vigilant. Um, but that kind of requires a lot of, you know, it requires me actually having that card. And it's not clear how good that would be anyway. And I need to get rid of something from the deck. I don't think the Sky Rider has turned out very good. I'm never going to kick it. Yeah. I do think it's fine to run one restoration. It says my mana cost is 3.6, but all of my 6 plus cards I'm hoping to cast for quite a bit less. I 
I don't have a lot of ways to make many creatures, sadly. Because I, I want to, like, make lots of creatures and have them die, but I didn't, like, end up taking Captain's Call, which would be great here. I got, like, one chance at it. You know, let's get rid of Destroy Evil, maybe. And one Riding Necromath. Just run four of them. Seems like plenty. Maybe even too many. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right. I don't know. Is this any good? Time will tell. At least I got through the draft in only like half the time of the last uh, draft. This is solid. I've got a two drop and then like some stuff eventually. Although this doesn't really do much. Still, it's, it's one of the best cards in the deck, and I get to play it on turn two. And now I have something to do on three, even if it is only a two drop. Green, white, okay, token. So this is the, yeah. Pretty good card as well. Ooh, this is my other pretty good card. Let's see, I already have a swamp down, so a planes is what I want. This is a two, three lifelink. But I'd rather save it, if possible. Until I can do something with its kicker ability. Not that that's super critical. But, like, getting this to die and come back shouldn't be too hard, right? Citizen's Arrest, I think, is actually fine. This is a scary creature. Green, white, blue. So you might imagine um, some domain stuff going on here. But no guarantees. We'll see. Maybe the artillery blast this. That would be kind of sad, but it would give me something to do with four mana next turn. Oh, okay, nice. Feature card, yeah. Well, I guess I swing for two, play this, and reserve the right to pump it. Because holding this back as a blocker just kind of sucks. And I don't want to play this without Kicker, and I want to reserve the ability to pump it, so it's not like I'm wasting the mana here. I'm, I'm intentionally floating too, because playing this would be sort of bad, and not playing it is actually useful. Alright, I trade. Well... I block. I hope that I just eat your creature, but probably you have a combat trick of some kind. Okay. Well, I'll pump this just for fun. Hmm. The 
fifth mana opens up a lot more possibilities. I don't have to bring that back right away. Yeah. Well, let's play this first, I guess. So that I get the life, even if they have like a, a way to remove this during combat. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I don't really want to open myself up to any weird combat tricks. That's really good. But I think I'll make a 5-5. Five five. I'm winning the race if you keep coming at me. Got to do something else, I think. Well, okay. It made sense they did that because they had the ability to untap. So, sure. Are you going to enlist and swing as a five? Yes. That's fine. I'll block. You have a trick as well? That would be pretty cool. But this has Death Touch, so... Oh, it gains Indestructible. But they had to discard a huge card to do it. That's fine, I think. So how many creatures are in my graveyard right now? Four. Why am I asking that question exactly? If I kick this, I could bring back, like, something for two and play it immediately. Or this, which would cost, like, six. And I definitely couldn't play it immediately. I'm one man away from being able to use this to gain life, which would be kind of cool. Or I could just play this, kicked to get like a couple creatures down, which seems kind of cool. I think I'll do that. this so it's a 5-7 that like has other effects okay well that's kind of a problem because I don't have much of a way to get through that I guess the way to get through it is just like play enough creatures that when they are blocking them all they die but this gains four life oh my god this thing is nuts Let's see what we get off the Rager, I guess.
I guess I should swing with this, right? It threatens lethal, and it also threatens to pump itself up enough to be a huge problem. creature you control, so... I'm trading these two for these two, which seems like a great deal to me. Or I'm trading all three of these, I guess. I could keep this alive if I blew up my 2-2. Two -two. I don't want to do I just want them to brick on creature spells for a little while. Yes. Ah, ha, ha, it's not a creature. Okay, cool, cool. So. Do I just, like, bring back the Necromass and gain seven? Or do I do something else? Because in some sense, the most important thing is to make more creatures so that, like, they can die, right? I think I bring back the Necromass. And I'll do it pre-combat, just so I gain the life, I think? Yeah, the life doesn't matter. Let's attack just so that they might think I have a combat trick. Letting it in, okay. Well, in that case, maybe I play both of these just to get more creatures on the board. So that if they block them, they die. And I can bring back, like, the Warhorse and... The Rager? Or actually, just bring back the Rager and play it, right? creatures. I mean, if they had, I... Mm, it would have been a little bit touch-and-go, I guess. I think we were still ahead, but if they'd been able to play a creature and then, like, another creature, that might have been too much. We got there just in time, I feel like. Doc Samson. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have a one drop to play, and then I have a four. <laughs> In the meantime, I have some removal, I guess. Oh, there's a, the Pixie Illusionist? Is that the one-mana blue creature? Yeah, I saw that recently. I mean, I could attack here. I'd sort of rather not. My Death Toucher is way more important than their 1-1 one -one whatever. 
Even if they attack, I don't think I want to runic shot it. It's just not an important creature. I want to save both the runic shot and the death touch for something more important. But we'll see if they put enough pressure on me somehow. Then maybe I would behave differently. Cool. Good work. The fourth mana is obviously nice to have because I can cast this bad creature with it. <laughs> um, but it's better than not being able to cast a bad creature, let me tell you. Three mana, three two. And it like scries domain, basically but not quite. So they're scrying three here. It's pretty cool. They did top one, okay. Is it better to play this and still have black mana left? I don't think so. Well, my Necromass is not looking so hot at the moment. That's why four of them is probably too many. But if I could get it into play, it would have Vigilance. Think about that. Wouldn't, I don't know, make a huge difference, I feel like. If they attack with the 3-2, I'm letting it in. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to trade with this, even though... It's like kind of a cool card. Uh, um, I mean, this is obviously a trick, right? I think I'll just wait. I don't know, maybe no trick? Kind of weird. Okay. See, I didn't really want to lose this because cards like Nael exist, right? Uh, you know, I should make this attack. I should have made it pre-combat, pre-playing this creature, but it's vigilant, so. And if they decide to block, I'd happily take up the shield. But I don't think they will. Okay. And we're back to 2020. Well, I'm glad I didn't spend all my mana before I realized that thing should attack. I still would have attacked. I just wouldn't have gotten any damage in it done nothing but they were tapped out and it's vigilant so it's a free shot you should take such shots when you have mana available if possible so opponent can't decide whether 
So it's harder for opponents to know whether they should block. I like my 4 4 vid so far. Oh, I'm really thinking it over. Down to zero timeouts. Did they rage quit? That can't be. Losing Niall is not not that bad. Okay. Well, it's tapped, but it's a land, and that's sort of what I was looking for. If I attack with this, I mean, a 4-4 Menace is a problem for their board right now. I think that's probably good. I don't really want to attack with a 4-4 Vigilant, because, like... Right? They could just block it like this? I guess they can do that with this guy as well. For some reason, I'm fine with that. Because this is a 4-4 all the time. This I have to pay a bunch of mana to make it a 4-4. And right now, I don't have any better use for the mana. It's a little bad to make this trade-off before I get to play the Connoisseur. Oh, okay. I'm just getting the damage in. Great. Because I want the Connoisseur to be able to, like, slurp up all these souls, but... Can't do that till next turn. But I'm also just sort of happy to get creatures in the graveyard for Necromass, so... Whatever happens, it's fine. Something phases out. Oh my god, really? So they're gonna save... Oh, they just skipped all the way to the end. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. I thought... Yeah, I guess they didn't really have anything worth saving. That makes sense. Well... Nice board clear. I don't want to swing with all of these yet, because I don't want them to all die in one big burst. This only gets counters once per turn. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Reload, assuming they have instants and sorceries. This one, please. Now, if they if they triple block like this, I I lose all of my counter value at once. But I get a bunch of scry, and I simplify the board. So I'm happy with that. If that's what happens. So I, I don't get a scry three, I get three scry ones, which is worse. But I'll take it. Worth keeping, I think. 
two more scries could let me find something better, but honestly, this is pretty good. I just didn't want to attack with just one of these and let it bounce off of this. I guess I could have attacked with two. I don't know. And if they ever do, like, tap this thing, I can then runic shot it. So I'm not too bothered about it. Hmm. Also, that'll activate the Connoisseur. Seems like a fine tap. Let's decide whether I want to scry... I mean, I guess none of my creatures are likely to die, right? They could full trade for the Necromass. I'd be happy enough with that. But I might not want to scry this turn if, if the Necromass dies and this scries something good on top. So I want to save the land until I know whether I want to scry. Okay, turns out I do. You ever gonna do anything over there? I mean, I should cut down this thing and try for lethal, right? Okay. Good work. Two and zero, I think. I don't know. I lose track pretty easily. <laughs> It is 2 and 0. Okay, I had cut away for you, but I like this art. I haven't seen this uh, loading transition screen before. I like this one. I, I assume it's like the something or other beach whatever, the blue-white land in one of the blue-white lands in this set. This is a good hand. Yeah. I can play my tap land on one, and then a planes for this guy, and then play this on three, and I'll have all the colors I need, so the fact that it's colorless won't matter, and the fact that it's crying will be great. It is, like, kind of a bummer that I don't have a, an untapped swamp to play. Um, that's life. Ultra Trash. Good name. Yeah, see, there you go. That's that's the, the, the card we just saw in the transition screen. Everyone's playing Pixie Illusionists. Ah, this is not the... There's, there's duels that enter tapped, which are the commons. And there's rares that enter untapped, but only use colored mana if you pay life. So these are certainly better, because they enter untapped. And often you don't need the colors, but when you do, you're usually willing to pay the life. You'd rather pay life than tempo, whereas with the tap land, you always have to pay tempo. Certainly there are times you would rather have a, top, a tap land than one of these, but on average, these are the better lands. You are a 2-2 two -two with no special abilities. Okay. I could swing here, but I don't really fancy a trade. And I don't want to bluff. That the, like, I think they would very likely call my bluff and block, which I do not desire. If I knew they wouldn't block, sure, I'd attack and then have this as my blocker, but obviously I don't know that. Pilfer. Hmm, tough call. The Necromass, maybe? You don't know I have ways to get it back from the graveyard? Maybe just the Death Toucher? Yeah, there's lots of reasonable choices here. The Citizen's Arrest is quite good. 
depends on whether they have anything big in hand or not. We learn something about their hand based on what they take here, right? We, we learn what they're afraid of. If they have a big creature coming up, they'll choose Citizen's Rest. If they don't have any of those, they'll like choose something else. If they have a counter spell, they're probably happy to leave me. If like like Essence Scatter, right? If they have Essence Scatter, they're happy to leave me with an expensive zombie. But if they don't, they might want to take it away. Okay, so... They're more afraid of me removing their creatures than of me someday playing... Hmm, very funny. Playing one of my own. Uh, yeah, we want the tap land. Or the, the colorless land here for sure. I could attack first. Don't see a reason to do it. I mean, another swamp is not horrible. Gets me closer to the necromasses, I guess. And it lets me, like, activate the fly while still doing stuff. But I think, like, five lands should be plenty. I'm not going to attack with this. I think they would let it in and then counterattack with their 2-2. Two -two, which I don't really want. Actually... I can't, I, this, this is a black source. So I can use this as a blocker. Okay, so let's swing with a 2-2. Two -two. Now that they know I have Necromasses also, they're less likely to want to trade. They only know about one of them, but they don't want to help me get it online. So, some domain stuff? They've got four colors already? Alright, I mean, I'll block a 2-2. Two -two. It's not incredible value, but I'll take it. I don't know, maybe it was horrible? It probably is horrible. I should hang on to that for killing something more important. I already have a 2-2 on board. But it got a creature into the graveyard, which is what I kind of wanted. And now, as soon as I play this land, I can start dropping 5-5s. Five fives. So I can't really attack in anymore. Because this can pump to a 3-3 with the mana they have available at the moment. Ooh. Well, I have cut down, which I can use in response, right? It is an instant. Hmm. This might be my best chance to cut it down, actually. Attack with all, wait for them to block, wait for them to buff. I won't get to play a Necromast this turn, though, if I do that. But I don't know if this is the turn I want to do it. Like, what about, they could have Essence Scatter, right? been a while since they've had a chance to counter any creatures so they might still have one they might have one now and yeah, let's just try swing all i want to push for damage if they block my tutu and then don't pump i, I get caught a little bit like if they block my death toucher i mean and then Oh, which of course they won't pump, right? Because it has Death Touch. Okay, this was maybe a mistake. But it's sort of okay, because it lets me kill this thing without worrying about whether they're going to pump it. Just like, see ya. And then I get this down, and I still, at, for, for one cheaper. What the hell? Why would you tap like that? 
Oh, you have to. I only have one black source. That looks like a swamp, but it's not. Okay, well, fine. Good card. No attack with the 1-1? One -one? That's interesting. Are they planning to chop my 5-5 five five with it, or...? Huh. Weird. I feel like they should have gotten in the 1 damage. Maybe they figure they need to stabilize and this blocker could be useful in some universes, I guess. Makes sense. I could cut down the 1-1, one, one, but I obviously don't care about it. I'm saving this until maybe they play something relevant on their turn. I can't play this because I, I have 2 mana and I have black mana, but I don't have 2 mana including a black mana. All right, yeah, I'm thrilled to cut that down. It's a tiny little death toucher, which is getting in the way of my gigantic death toucher. I'd love to know what their last card is. They're looking at the graveyard, some kind of graveyard recursion thing, maybe? Are they gonna like bite? I would love that if they tried to use like a punch style removal. Guess not. Okay. I mean, they could still have that. And then in response to my get down, they could kill this. And that would be sad, but oh well. <laughs> oh, easy game. I'm glad I put these in the deck. Why didn't I keep five in? Let's just threaten lethal. I think I've played these three turns in a row now, right? Was there a turn in the middle? There must have been because I used cast down, which... No. That was castable because this got cheaper. Hmm. Too late, it looks like. I don't know where all my swamps were that game. I didn't draw a single swamp. And don't I have more swamps than planes? Just out of curiosity? I do. Drew four of my seven planes. Maybe it was five? Don't remember. Okay, we're up. Uh, this is a troublesome hand. I have a great mana base, but I can't do anything until turn five. I think I have to mulligan this. This isn't much better, really, but at least I have a cut down and a runic shot to keep up. That's, that's why we don't have five Necromasses in the deck. <laughs> Opening hands like that one. What, what's with all these pixie illusionists? All right, I'm just gonna kill this. Right? No, I should cut down a real creature. I'll have plenty of chances to use this. Do I know what I'm scrying for? A two or a three drop, I guess. What would I do if I saw a four drop? I would keep it. I saw land, might keep that too. So probably should not do anything. Since like every card in the deck except riding Necromass is a keep. This 
Still don't want to kill that. Great. Do I know what I want to scry for now? <clears throat> Not really. I could shoot this with a runic shot. That's obviously a waste of a powerful card. I don't know what all this clicking and unclicking means. Okay, so I can cut down that, for example. Oh, first time drawing this guy. Now, I still don't really know what I want to scry for, but I'm sort of out of time. It's all right. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it. Actually, it has to be a swamp, doesn't it? Oh, I already know what's on top, you idiot. Oh, man. Okay, well. I could attack with the goblin and it trades into the pixie, but it seems like dumb. It's also a little bit greedy to pump there for, for the one damage. It might be better to... Oh, it's a lot greedy. I should have held open the black mana so that the fly could um, block Nael. What am I thinking? At least they don't have any black yet. Very bad play. Oh, no, they... Wait, that one? Oh, it's also... Wow, nice. I really blundered that one. It's a forest swamp. Oh no, it becomes the basic, not in addition. Basic land types among lands you control. Oh, they already have a forest here, I see. I thought that was red. This is horrible. Why are you out? I can't kick this, can I? <gasps> I can! Have I missed chances to do this in the past? Yeah, good tap. Wow. Uh, keep the Citizen's Arrest. I still want to land, but the Citizen's Arrest is great. Night of Dusk's Shadow is... Fine? I want a swamp specifically. Yeah, I guess I'll keep both in this order, please. I just, it's very sad. I, I gave them, like, I don't know. I gave them pretty good value. Uh, I spent two mana on one damage when I could have spent it on, like, stopping them from drawing a card, right? I don't think that's a good attack. 
This one's fine. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. It trades for my splatter goblin. If that's what you want, then fine, I guess. And it also gets in three damage. Maybe they have some buff here that they're going to use to stop this. Maybe they were just happy with the trade. Yikes. Okay. I guess I have to Citizens Arrest that, right? Shouldred's Revival or Restoration is looking pretty unplayable. Uh, okay, that's probably game over. Like, I was in bad shape, and now I think it's unrecoverable, probably. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Probably just attack all, right? Pump this so I have to spend the fly on it and double block these guys and take four. Uh, oh, okay. Well, see you later, I guess. Okay, but we learned an important lesson this game, which is that it's actually not impossible to kick Runic Shot in this deck because I do have a blue source. You know, would you pay three mana to destroy a tapped creature and scry two? Yeah, probably. Especially if that mana is going to go to waste otherwise, as in that case. But sometimes, even if you had other things to do with the mana, it's like probably fine. Thruid, I guess. Threewid. Pretty cool. Got a one drop. I'm oh, sorry, a two and a three and a four. And then this for some undisclosed later time or earlier if I need the tempo. Because it is a pretty powerful creature. Ooh. I guess this first. Not kicked, so they just three mana to ram. Okay. And highly domain, right? Green, blue, white, blue, white, red. So they're waiting for black, but they're clearly trying to get all of them. No black yet. Okay. The heck are you? Two mil oh boy, that's a scary one. On the other hand, the splatter goblin takes care of it, right? I take some damage, but... I think I'll just pick this up first.
because that's something that I want to spend four mana on. And right now I don't have anything else that I want to spend four mana on. No blocks. They attack with the 4 4, I let it in. Okay. Well, let's see what this accomplishes. Actually, I could try this to make them spend a trick on those guys, but I don't want to double trade, I think. I could try this, which probably works, but I don't think I want to do it. Actually, you know what? I don't mind if more creatures are in the graveyard. This, like, it's my life gain, though, right? You know, maybe I could wait just a little longer to let me get this down for super cheap. But then I'm not getting this down for, like, at all. I have take up the shield coming. Yeah, I think we just don't block this. Go ahead, hit me for eight. Ouch. Glad I kept my life gain. So I have five mana. If I kick this, it costs five, which is all of it. So cool. If I if it only cost four, then I could still play this, but I also don't have enough white to do those things. So instead I play this and I hold open, take up the shield. We're losing this game, but we haven't, like, lost yet. Oh, that's a really good card, isn't it? <laughs> okay, they only have five lands. So we might have a chance to breed before this kills me all by itself. Full swing, I assume? No. Interesting. Ooh, more Necromasses is not what I was looking for. I could just let that go. I was thinking take up the shield. Well, actually, having a 5-5 five five would be really nice. Wouldn't it? If it's the only thing I do this turn, how bad is that? I don't have enough creatures to deal with. Yeah, I think I need the 5-5, five five actually. Also, I need the large life gain instead of a small life gain later. Okay. Really? That was a strange... It must have been just a misclick, not even like they changed their mind. So I could swing with this again. Ruwala costs four, so... They couldn't activate this. They could double block, and I would like kill their 4-4. I don't think that's very good for me. I could bluff something better, but I don't actually have something better. these lands I'm worried about. Let's 
let's just attack with this and like see what happens. Can't be that bad, right? I'll trade a creature for that, I guess. Make this into a 3 3 and this into a 5 4. And now I can start playing Necromasses. Okay. The Nihil is the real problem, of course. Because with that and Tatyova, they're going to start being able to play some serious stuff. I need to develop some real pressure. Or, like, just a way to kill this would be a start. But it's not enough, because as soon as they hit a couple lands, like, I don't know. How does this work exactly? Yeah, it becomes. It doesn't have to, like... It's not till end of turn. It's permanent. Okay, so let's swing with the 5-5, five five, I guess. Nope, because this is a 7-7. Seven seven. So that sucks. Well, I'm not getting any blocks in with this one, so... But a 5-5 five five Death Toucher is pretty cool. That I can attack with. They topped a land, by the way, because they didn't have a land last turn. They topped something, and then they played a land. Ooh. That's interesting. I don't think I should play it now. This having Death Touch would be cool, but not as cool as just, like, playing another one, right? Sorry, having Vigilance, I mean. It already has Death Touch. If they somehow kill both of these creatures, I can play both of these, but that seems sort of unlikely. Okay, well. I'm not going to be getting in with this anymore, because I assume they're going to start making lands in the 3-3s. Three Have they not found lands? How did that happen? so much. Okay, but they didn't get anything down that can block this stuff. And I need to keep the pressure on. Okay. That's pretty good, isn't it? Isn't that like you're dead? I get I have enough attackers now. I guess if they can play another spell. Okay. Oh, it's a spell that kills me. 
That was an interesting game. Did I miss any big opportunities? I don't know. The attack with the Warhorse, I think, was right. Um, choosing to sack this instead of, like, sacking two creatures? I don't know. That was probably right as well. Taking up the shield at the time I did, I think, was important. I could maybe have attacked with my lifelinker at some point. It wouldn't have helped. But there might be some similar, like... As things actually went, I would still be dead. But if they had had a little bit less damage, they would have still killed me with the line I took, but, like, maybe I could have lived if I'd attacked with my lifelinker. I figured I would do that when things were getting, like, much closer to the wire, but they got close, like, really quickly. And having the lifelinker back to block was valuable as well. Even though it never did block. Oh, well, cool. I've got my two drop. I've got another two drop. I'll take it. Hello? Can we go? Maybe we get a conceder? No, we're in combat now. They've passed a combat, but are deciding what to do? That can't be right. They must still be thinking about their mulligan. Am I player one? I don't know. I always forget this stuff. Hello. Well, it looks like our opponent Yeet the Children is... Oh, they're back. Look at that. They were about to time out during the mulligan, but they decided not to. Who can say why? Actually, the Menace creature might have been better, because it's more likely to get in next turn, but this is like definitely gaining some life, and maybe getting in. Yeah, so see, I'm a genius. It worked out. Play this pre-combat, in case they kill this during combat. I want to get the life. Okay, I think my opponent took longer in the mulligan than in uh, the entire game, but I'll take what I can get. Oh, you know, something I, I realized recently. Um, the There was one game forever ago where an opponent played a land, an island, and I was like, wow, I really like the art on that island. Um, and most of the time, I don't really care about the art on cards. I, mean, I don't know. Like, sometimes I, I remark, like, oh, yeah, it's pretty cool art. But I can't remember any other basic land where my opponent has played it. And I've been like, oh, that's pretty cool. Right? I'm just, like, choosing the least weird stuff to put in my own deck when I start a draft and making sure it doesn't have text on it or whatever. Um, this is not a good hand, but it is a keep. And I found out, just, like, through sheer luck, I forget, I was, like, Googling like basic land art to see if I could find some really awful basic land that I had seen. And I didn't end up finding it. But I did stumble across the one island that I thought was a good one. Um, 
And it's it's a Bob Ross painting. Would you look at that? I love Bob Ross, apparently. Um, I didn't know it, but now I do. Um, they did a, like a secret lair drop, which I guess is basically like... I don't know enough about the magic ecosystem to know what it means, but I think it basically means like cards you can only buy as singles, basically, and that they make real try to make really appealing so people will waste a bunch of money on them. Um, especially commander players. Because <laughs> um, I don't know, are our secret layer drops? Are they like are they legal in other? They are, right? People come in all the time into the in the MTG Discord to ask in the rules section, like, how the heck Chun-Li works. And I know she was a secret lair drop. The Street Fighter card, right? Um, I don't really know how the basic lands fit into that. But, anyway, Bob Ross art. They did, they did a, a secret lair drop that included five basic lands that were based on paintings by Bob Ross. Uh, or maybe ten basic lands? I'm not totally sure. Uh, what do I want to do here? I could play a planes and citizens arrest something, but none of this stuff matters, right? Well, actually, Wrath is kind of annoying. I could citizens arrest Wrath, I guess. Also, I probably should have played a planes last turn instead of another swamp. I think I will arrest Wrath. He can just generate too much value. I definitely know what I want. Oh no, what is this? Oh, ah, these domain decks, man. This is so bad. Alright, I want to scry for non lands, please. Fine. Pretty sure I kick this, right? rather than, like, waiting and leaving up black mana for this guy. Makes it a little bit harder to kill this if it attacks. But I don't, I don't know how much they're excited to attack with that anyway, right? I can just trade it for the horse or something. They get the counters in, which sucks, but... That's not great. Oh man. Alright, so they're gonna get even more. This is this is a loss. I'm never winning this game. Oh. Their domain is only three. They're not running any Well, they might have duels, like off-color duels, and this this doesn't reach for those. attack with the fly here. I like it as a death touch blocker, but do I like it enough to skip out on one damage? Probably. Because this is a turn I feel like they want to attack, right? I guess not. Okay. Nice draw. I left this up, which is wrong. But not material. So if I attacked with this, I couldn't pump it enough to do anything meaningful. But I think I should throw away a 1-1. One -one. 
get a counter on this guy. Okay. Well, <clears throat> in some sense that's even better. Because I get to do the one damage and I can still sack this. And I'm going to do it on my turn. Uh, even though it means the horse won't be... I don't know. Making the horse a 5-4 on their turn is kind of cool, isn't it? I think so. But so is making this a 4-4 four, four right now? Yeah. It doesn't get trampled, does it? It does get trampled. Wow. Okay. So the Death Toucher blocking it is... I'm still going to take a truckload of damage. But I do get to kill their thing. Presumably. Why the 1-1? One -one? I guess it just get, keeps my horse occupied. So I can't trade the horse into this if I wanted to. I mean, I could, but I would be taking damage for it. But it, it kills their tutu, right? Maybe they have a trick. I don't know. We shall see. Actually, do I want to trade the horse for this? I guess I probably do. That lets me try this. I don't know. They have some combat trick. I'm... Oh, I didn't even read what's on the board. Okay, so this block kind of stinks, huh? Should not have blocked with the horse. If I had enough mana to still activate this, I should have, but I don't. So that was a big mistake away my horse for no reason, and that could really matter quite a lot. Um, even though I can get it back. Throwing it away for no reason is not great. I don't know, though. Don't I have, like, kind of a lot of damage? So I have 8 mana. This can be a 6-6 six, six Vig, and this is a 5-5 five, five Flyer. 6-6 six, six Menace, I mean. Okay, so do I actually want to pump it? I think... Doing 11 damage would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Nice shot. They did choose to draw. Interesting. Seems risky. But I guess if they have another creature? Two top. Yikes. I don't know. I guess they're kind of okay with me attacking with, for six damage with this because it cost me my whole turn. Okay. No 
No blocks, I guess. Although, this is a lot of damage next turn, right? So I give this Vigilance. Well, if, okay, if they attack with everything next turn, this block is better next turn than now, right? So the mana that I have is nine. So I can play this for seven. And get back five life. And uh, still have the ability to use this, perhaps. In fact, maybe I just attack with it again. Yeah. It's not going to block anything usefully, right? Mm, it could stop two damage here. Okay, I need to like figure out how we win and how we lose. If I do nothing, like if, if they just attack on their turn, as they very well might, they could attack for five here. Oh my gosh, it's enlist. But okay, it's not going to enlist anything. So like I would be blocking that way, but I can't. So I'd be blocking, I would take five, so I'm at seven. This is two, which I could block like, here, so they wouldn't do that. Maybe they would, to, to make me block there. So that's 5, 8, 13 damage, right? So I would be dead if I didn't block anything. But if I block one thing, I can live. I think this threatens more on the crackback. Like, it makes them afraid to attack for all. I mean, might not be afraid enough to stop them, but it, it makes it more difficult to attack with all, since they don't, in fact, have lethal on board. They have to consider how much I could counterattack for, and getting that attack in makes that more difficult, more dangerous. Okay, but that's only nine. Oh, it's all vigilant. They don't have to worry about the crackback. That's true. If they have any tricks, I just, like, die. That, in this case, I die immediately. But um, even a trick that kills my creature would have been lethal eventually. Game ending. If not immediately lethal. All right. Well, you know, four wins. We could we could hope to do better. But considering that I just like threw in a bunch of necromasses and said good luck, and I played Radadravic for like no particular reason. It never did anything. I basically just like took the Phyrexian missionary and said, okay, I'm black white now, and that's not the right way to draft. I came up with like some reasonable uh, you know, stuff, but I feel like if I had tried the red-black deck, it would have worked out better. Oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.